Oi, oi, lads. Let's take another quick, another quick look. I'd like to see best of three cards from Exalan. Dude, what the hell is this, man? Your win rate goes up by 5% if you have Evangelist in your main deck. In your, in your opening hand, sorry. In, in what deck, though? Mono white, huh? It can't be that good, is it? Surely not. Mono white doesn't actually have that many, like, creatures, though. You don't even use the battle cry that well. The creatures are just, like, one... They're not making tons and tons of tokens, right? Like, yeah, you can pump your, your one drop by one. You can pump your Thalia by one. But... Wow, who, like, who cares? Adeline, yes, but Adeline and Vagilance are the same price, though. It's, it's a nasty card, but... I, I don't think Mono White is the best way to use it, though. In a Militia deck, maybe. Looks at the stats, refuses to believe. No, I believe Evangelist is good, but these these, these decks don't have enough uh, matches. These decks are not in order of win rate, by the way, if if you thought they were. Get to cooking, son. We can cook, man. We can we can do a little cooking. Yeah, I'm, you're not going to see me turn down 5% on a 3-drop. I'm not that guy. I accept the offer. Yeah, we want, we want Evangelist in a... Kind of, like, kind of like mono white, but we want to go wider, man. Wider. I demand to go wide. Convoke my ass, please. It can't be Boros, though. Like, the, the mana is too bad, man. And it's for standard. It has to be blue white. I don't know if you can do blue white, though. Zephyr Singer, huh? Don't know if we'll play that, but it's certainly interesting. Alright, so what, what are the white cards in the Boros Convoke deck? Re reinforcements. Um, do they play Adeline or Wedding Announcement? Big Knight, yeah, I've got the Knight and we'll, well, I guess we'll try the Singer. The Life Gain did, yeah, I mean, he's, he's gas, yeah. I mean, I guess the real question is, is the blue even worth playing? What, what do you get out of blue? You get Lardar Zombie. That's a card. Surely Spyglass Siren's in the deck. Shredder. This has to, this is a Shredder deck, man. Shred me. <clears throat> I do, I do like Larsenist, man. Yeah, but I guess you've got to choose, right, between Thalia and Wedding Announcement. And it's surely Thalia. We have no non-creatures in the deck. Skrelv is also nice, yes. Cut the Evangelist? I think the Evangelists are going to be good, man. Yeah, we can maybe cut one Singer, because we, we do have a decent amount of Flyers already, right? Two Larsenists, uh, our bats have flying, Shredder, Siren. But there, there's a lot of creatures in the deck to give flying to, but there's also quite a few that already have it. This'll do, this is fine. Maybe change one one of the spell pierces to another stroke, but the fox, a flash, yeah, I've got it. I've got that in the sideboard. Why not wedding main deck? Uh, we're trying the Evangelist instead, right? Because the Evangelist does a similar thing, but it's also a creature, so it can be found by the knight. Alright, Shredder haters are in a shambles. Rare Shredder creature deck. Let's go. Any lands? Ha! <laughs> nice Malcolm Bozo. Nice Malcolm. 
Alright, come on, give me a land, dude. Give me a land for Evangelist in tonight. Evangelist in tonight. Evangelist in tonight. Evangelist in tonight. Pretty toxic, but fine. Okay. I mean, this would have been really sick if we hadn't missed our land. But even having missed the land, it's not that bad. Yep, Shredder, Shredders have got double fly in now. Singer looks okay, huh? The singer itself has vigilance to really nice with a battle cry four four vigilance fire. <clears throat> they have to Shelly and I will we'll we'll beat uh Shelly man. Shelly is Shelly's one of the reasons that the veteran is in the deck, right? Is is in all of these kind of decks. So that you don't have to get really care about the damage that Shelly does. Because you just negate it anyway. <coughs> Shelly's basically the main reason why these were added to these decks in the first place. Gotta get rid of the warden, right? I don't I don't think we have enough time to use the warden, but maybe we do, maybe I'm underestimating it. The decks decks slowly looking gas though. Beck's looking pretty gas with it. <laughs> Considering we took a full turn off earlier in the game when we missed a land. It's not bad. These shredders are popping, man. These shredders are frickin' poppin'. And they've got they've got a discard two spells at least. Sounds fine. <laughs> Why is everyone flying? We had the singer, they bounced it with the blue land. Eighteen damage, huh? <clears throat> Can I deal eighteen damage? 
Wow, that's gonna thank you, opponent. Oh no, 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 no. What have you done, you fool? <clears throat> Alright, so we definitely we want to proc our shredders next turn without using convoke. So I mean I guess the singer's going now. We also want to They've only got one creature that can block. Alright, so Larsenist one drop. Okay. Pump up the bozos. Send in the squad. Hey, not bad. <coughs> not bad. <coughs> that was cool. But we've got three singers right now, four knights. But I think we want all of these, right? All the larcenists, all the bodyguards. <clears throat> the rest of this is seems whatever. Skrelv can go. Hmm. Cut three, huh? Cut three, huh? Oh, Thalia's also whatever, yeah. True, true, true. So then I guess do you want Skrelv or one destroy evil? I'll take my Skrelv. The Strive will probably be good, but Skrelv will be good too, right? I don't actually think I've ever used this before. The bodyguard. <clears throat> Skrelv will be nice to protect our... Uh, our creatures that are killing their creatures, right? the black land for a fin wedding announcement huh I kind of want to get my veteran going, but I also want to get my warden going first, or <clears throat> with higher priority, I should say. <clears throat> and I guess, I guess Shredder discard veteran is pretty good, right? Hmm. 
Mm. The land, we can go bodyguard. Siren. <laughs> Get a shredder trigger, but what if they don't play something to use my bodyguard on, though? I'm not bottoming a land, but I'm slightly concerned that this land is not that good. Hell underscore, hell underscore. Bro, I'm trying to focus here, man. I'm playing an incredibly complex creature-based goal-wide convoke strategy against a very powerful deck. And here you go, hell underscore, hell underscore. Yapping, 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 yapping. Thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Kind of, yeah. All right, chat. What would you like to do? <clears throat> would you like to eat the Malcolm? Or would you like to eat the Skrelv? Mm -mm. I guess Skrilf, huh? How the hell do we attack? Spacebar? Yeah, true. Three counters gives flying vigilance. All right. Did... Am I crazy or is this deck feeling pretty nice? Those scries are so good, man. I need a I need a Zephyr singer, huh? I need to get all these these little plebs flying. The warden is no joke. has been great so far. <laughs> Siren's really good with the warden. It's working, it's working. Hey! Cheater based card. <clears throat> Bro, Skrelv is fucking useless, huh? <laughs> Skrelv? Yeah, name, Skrelv, name, name what, sorry? Okay, opponent sends in the troops. Doesn't work for channel? Uh, it, no, because this is a colorless card. It does work for channel on cards that are actually a color, though, I think. Chat. So it would be a really bad idea to die. But you also got to balance that with uh, don't be scared, mate. Don't be scared. <clears throat> I 
don't think we can spend much time fucking around with this warden anymore. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Poro Paul, thank you very much uh, for uh, a very uh, <laughs> personal message. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I go by. I go by Stephen. Sometimes Crookies. Sometimes streamer's name. Opponent pays a two. Pays too, huh? Rather ambitious, rather ambitious. I, I maybe could have gotten away with using the warden once here, but... Okay. So we can get round the, the virtue by using our Zephyr Singer. Yeah, I really thought maybe I should have used the word in one's last term, man. Oh yeah, blue. Ah, blue. Blue, 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 huh? Okay. Please draw a non-land, man. I need that shredder counter. Okay, perfect one. Nice. Feels good. Only the best one in the whole deck. No big deal. I, I should have done the ward encounter last turn, but not because I haven't done it, I just can't do it at all anymore now. How bizarre. So true. How bizarre. Indeed. Any psychos attacking with our shredder? I'm kind of that guy. Could be a very important three damage when we go for the battle cry attack next turn. Right, so we want to chump with our creatures that don't have flying, huh? <clears throat> Why not use Warden to convoke Zephyr so it's flying at least? I'm, I'm just going to chump with the Warden, man. Once I, once I didn't convoke it, or once I didn't uh, use its ability two turns ago like I didn't, then it's just a one-two with no text now. Un until the end of the game. <clears throat> I'd rather, like, these the Bodyguard and the Evangelist are way more important now than the Warden is. So they, they block Shredder, and then we have, what? Get lost on Zephyr Singer. Three, 
five, six, seven, eight, uh, resolves. <laughs> Wrong target? No, that was a, that was a bait, right, for me to use my Skrelv and then they kill the Evangelist. <clears throat> Making me crazy. Okay. Creatures which aren't flying get to block and bitches. I mean, how how can we possibly not win here? <clears throat> Zephyr Singer difference, crushing the virtue. Go team! Mm. Alright, nice. Mm. Very nice. Gets the job done. Land me, please, baby. Land me. Land me. Another bed spur. Do, 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 do. Psycho bat, huh? Do, 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 do. Mm, maybe I shouldn't be topping anything that's not uh, a convoke card. Hard to say, huh? I will top that, though. Uh, 
I will also discard that to treasure to shred or such. <laughs> I mean, we got some life points though, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Can we get a fresh scry? Convoke cards or evangels, please. Convoke cards or evangels or a larcenist. Larcenist eat their bat, also these. What's the life gain even do in this deck? It lets us just ignore Shelly, right? We don't need to play removal spells for Shelly. Which is uh, it's pretty... I mean, it's, it's worth something, right? For sure. These scries are so good. Wouldn't it be better to attack and deal some damage instead of tapping your whole board? But sometimes, but also sometimes not, right? I haven't lost, I've barely lost no damage, man. They've got, I'm gonna I'll lose all my creatures whenever I attack. The only damage I'm missing is from the Shredder. <laughs> I guess the Shredder can't really deal any damage now anyway. Ooh. That's a card. Because of the Zephyr, because of the double blue though, I, need, I do need to tap the Shredder as one of the costs, so I can make three creatures fly. Okay. <clears throat> Can't make a token. Um, because I've, uh, because I've only got one blue creature, right? If I had two blue creatures, I could make a token. I guess if anything is gonna die, we want it to be the veterans. And it'll be it'll be the creatures with flying that die, right? God, you got a block soon, opponent. You got a block soon. That's a mastermind jump. No blocks. Surely not. <clears throat> Surely not. Never saw anyone play Singer. The, the Singer has been good so far. The, the change in the... Given the creatures flying has actually been relevant. <clears throat> the, like, the Zephyr Singer... Zephyr Singer, for example, against Ramp, it's not going to be very good, right? Because it, whether your creatures have flying or not is irrelevant, but... Against the Esper, when they have Wedding Announcement, when they have Virtue of Loyalty, it's not irrelevant at all. Get lost. You get lost, opponent, you fucker. You get lost. 
nice attack, Bozo. What does the life gain do for you in this deck, by the way? Was the question asked. <clears throat> Esper is actually getting farmed by this. I like what I see. So this is not Esper Legends this time though. This is slightly different. This is Esper Midrange. Where our they're going to have more removal spells. And our removal spells are going to be a little bit worse I guess. But. I mean I still think you play them but maybe not. Maybe not. Arthalias are better here, though. That's for sure. Honestly, I don't really want to sideboard at all, man. Like, uh, this main deck version is just insane against them, no? We've got, we've got it all. Life gain to den to negate their attacks. Little removal, little tax, little protection. Buttons to click, cards to draw. Maybe, yeah, maybe Pierce is worth it, though. Pierce instead of one Shredder. Shredder can be a little awkward against the Mastermind. Most Esper players won't have Mastermind anymore. They'll have Malcolm, but this one does have Mastermind, though. What's the plan versus Ramp? Game one, cast Thalia. Try and kill them. Game two and three. Cast Thalia, try and kill them. If that doesn't work, use a stroke. Is Stroke good anymore with all the ramp decks playing Cavern? I mean, it's definitely less good, yeah. But it was it was the best card against them, so... <clears throat> even even being a bit worse, it's, it still should be decent. No Resplendent Angel? Nah. Like, we, get, we gained a decent amount of life against the opponent in game one there, but... Angel... Angel doesn't really care about gaining life, right? As weird as that sounds. It cares about gaining specifically five. If you gain four, then you shouldn't have had the angel in your deck, right? And there'll be a lot of turn. There'll be a lot of turns, most turns of most games we will gain one life, maybe maybe two, maybe three. Very rarely will we gain five. And if that's the case, then that creature just doesn't fit your deck right at all. May go Siren first, because we've only got one blue source. Your dog any lands? Well, fourth siren can go to the bottom. Mm. 
Nice. I could have tapped the map token, yeah. Ah, oh, whoops. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, knight. Knighty McKnighterson's, huh? That is quite the card. Yeah, this this spell pierce is beginning to look pretty good, huh? <laughs> we don't want a second warden because they cannibalize each other, but Thalia or reinforcements. Surely Thalia. It's nice to take two creatures as well that I can't cast on this turn, right? Because it makes it uh, <clears throat> less face up that we are we're being a bit sneaky here with the Pierce. But if you take a one drop there, reveal the one drop, and then don't cast it, you know, kind of sus. Okay, Shredder, do not play Shredder into Fairy Mastermind. Only a fool would do such a thing. Not a bad card, chat. The top, surely. <clears throat> uh, and then I guess this is a this is a send. Point did not like that. Alright, just no land sunfall, please. <clears throat> That's loser tech. <clears throat> Second Emperor is fine. We can eat Denik and then attack with the Evangelist, I guess. Is it worth it to eat any of our own creatures to play around Sunfall? I don't think it's lethal, is it? No. We have 12 damage. <laughs> yes, we don't really have twelve because I need to I need to attack Emperor too. Top me. We 
We have to jump here, right? Jump. What are you hunting? Who's who's hung in today's climate? Years of training for this. Well, I've got a lot of creatures. There's only really one card that's good against a lot of creatures, so. <laughs> Let's hope they don't have it. <laughs> Let's hope they don't have it. <clears throat> what did they have? They had Denic Mastermind Two Emperors, huh? Nothing too crazy. But they they did get fucking rolled though if they don't have a sunfall. Burder. We've got plenty of gas for after Sunfall if they do have it, but they will get to keep their Denic, which is a little, uh, probably the most annoying thing. Mm -mm. Crazy little thing, color. Nice minus 100k, man. <clears throat> I still can't believe that we got someone to redeem the minus 10 mil, man. Totally insane. Totally insane. <laughs> For real, yeah, we had, we've had one, one uh, minus 10 mil redeem. A couple of weeks ago. Sick. Absolutely sick. Time to up it to twenty mil. I, I thought it, I I honestly thought it would never get redeemed at ten mil, even with the gambas. That person was balling out, man. Can you see how many points each one of us has? I, I can see how many points, like, an individual person has if I click on them. But there's no, like, there's no list to know. We just beat Esper... Twice in a row, two or both times. Not bad. Considering Esper is 50% of the meta game. <laughs> Sounds like a good place to be. Or 40% or something, whatever. Hmm. What the hell is this, man? One drop into Thalia on the play. But then, then landlord. <sighs> we do have shredders and stuff in the deck that can maybe chew through these lands, but. <clears throat> Got my Rex too. Just simply draw spells, yeah. Not that hard, is it? I would say that's a spell. Any any more? Any more spells? <laughs> that is not a spell. But we do get to scry though, which surely will help. I'm I'm giving up three damage for a scry chat, don't at me. <clears throat> I mean 
That does let me attack with Warden and Thalia and still take another scry. I think it has to be a top, man. Sorcery speed though, right? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I, I mean, I guess what I do here is go my Rex token, huh? We can hold the reinforcements for now. Okay, fine. Yeah, the warden being sorcery speed's a bit sad, but it, it would be busted if it was instant speed, right? Tomorrow now, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it would be way too strong if it was instant speed, because you could just make your blocks, right? You could just block and then grow your guy up a million. And that is that sounds awful for anyone playing against that. Three espers in a row, huh chat? It is, in fact, an Esper meta. <clears throat> this is a Gandalf, though. Okay. Esper Legends into Esper Mid into Esper Control. Yep. Nah, not yet chat, not yet, not yet, not yet. Patience is required. <clears throat> uh, in response, I look at the top four cards of my library and I will select two to put into my hand. I'll put the, the other two in the bottom of my library. You shall not pass. Two main deck path of perils. <clears throat> Huh? It's new tech. I can't believe they had an emperor. This is insane. Yeah, the reinforcements are quite nice against Gandalf, but I guess they're they're less good once they've started making their their Emperor tokens, right? <clears throat> but hopefully they don't have another Wrath. I mean, they've already used two Path of Perils. Uh, 
Esper again. Bro, uh, we've played uh, three matches, all three matches against Esper. One Esper Legends, one Esper Midrange, and now Esper Control. <laughs> what a yoke, man. <clears throat> three actually different decks, though. Your blade strike true. Is Esper the best colours in magic? Hey, it's probably the best colours in these in this standard, yeah. Suppose so. In response, I look at the top five cards of my library, I select two, <clears throat> put them into my hand, and I put the remaining three in the bottom of my deck. Hmm. I'm a little sad that we don't have Merex available here, but sure. That, that is clearly lethal on board, so I expect to win this game. When it goes to two, all the way down to two. Well, you would expect them to find a playable spell here, but we still have Merex. Go for the throw, Thalia. It's fine. We passing? We out here passing the turn? Okay. They, they can animate their land and eat my might token, but if they do that, they're just going to die, right? So we don't need to be scared about that. <laughs> In response, I draw two cards. <laughs> I draw two cards. Okay. Wedding announcement, Gobican, spell pierce, stroke, not larcenist. <clears throat> do, you, do you cut the veterans or do you just keep them in anyway? Zephyr Singer, I get. We don't need Zephyr Singer, right? Flying doesn't matter.
And then, I, I mean, I guess it is the, the veterans. I didn't try the one mana 3-3 three, three flyer, no, but it could be okay. It just does, it messes with your convoke, right, for, for quite a long time, man. <clears throat> Malcolm, so Malcolm would be good, but again, Malcolm's like an attacker, right? Sh I've just got—I'm playing Shredder instead because Shredder is good at attacking too, like Malcolm, but also good at sitting back and and convoking, right? Whereas Malcolm is useless if you're just using it to convoke. Sunfall? Hey, they don't have any white, right? Again, I'm, I'm not too scared about board wipes. I mean, I think they have to wrap the Thalia, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you gonna do, chat? They, it has to be done, they have to do it. They don't have double white, so we've got enough time to play a board out and then get ready for the, the sunfall. <laughs> All right, opponent, please, please chill, Bozo. <clears throat> All right, now, now we should be fine. We can definitely play around one sunfall, it's not it's not a big problem. Like that's fine, right? We got two paths and a sunfall and we've still got Mirex left, we've still got Creature Land, we've still got another Evangelist. I would say we're relatively chilling. Okay. <clears throat> They wouldn't have another one, right? Their last card would not be a Sunfall. <laughs> it is not possible that that's true. <laughs> a another Path of Peril is fine because we can crack the array in front of that. Please animate your thing, opponent. Please animate. Please animate your thing. Okay, no sunfall. Nice. Easy dubs.
Ooh, that's a good draw. It's a great draw. Um, okay. Cause they're gonna they're gonna deluge into Sunfall, right? And then we can just uh play reinforcements, Merex token attack with our land. Another little spell pierce here would have went pretty hard. Final land attack? Well, we're gonna get Sunfold, right? So we want to be able to build a board after the Sunfall. One Shelly? That's your grand plan. A random ass creature. Come on. We out here going wide. Wide with it. I guess I should have. I guess I should have looked for a land, right? Yeah, I should have. I should have bought Thalia, man. A land is better because a land I can attack with both, both creature lands or or one and use a use a Merex token. Get an explore here, though. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Another, what can only be described as easy dub. Ecuador. Ecuador.